now is Senator David Perdue, a Republican from Georgia. Senator Perdue shares President Trump's goal of getting rid of the diversity immigrant visa program and has introduced legislation to do just that. Uh, Senator, good to see you. Thanks for coming on the program tonight. I have a hard time after a hideous event such as uh, what we saw last night, seeing that and then seeing people come out today who still can't connect the dots. I called it willful blindness, but it's more than that, really. This is a dangerous dereliction of duty on the part of politicians to keep this scam of a diversity visa program going. This president called this out last year, and I give him high marks that this year he's backing our RAISE Act that Tom Cotton and I are, are putting forward. And he talked about it today. We want to go to a merit-based immigration system, but let's talk about this diversity lottery situation. This is a big fraud. It's, it's fraught with fraud itself. It has Social Security fraud. It has identity fraud. But worse than that, Laura, is that 30 percent of the visas given out under this system go to countries that are identified by ICE as harboring and promoting terrorism. In fact, the largest recipient country for these visas, is uh, the third largest, is, is Iran. This is an insidious program. It needs to go away tonight. Who are the big champions of this program? Well, the left, they want diversity, but what it does is but just... But does business in. want this, too? Is there oh, some no. cheap labor? No, no, no it's not, not about business. No, this, this, is, this isn't the, uh, the guest worker, no, sir. nothing like that. No, no, this is all about a program that was envisioned by Ted Kennedy and Schumer years ago. And Bush, George H.W. Bush. George H. Bush. He H. signed w. it into law in 1990, he correct? Did. He did. It, I, get, I see that <clears> there's, a, there's a line or a Venn diagram, maybe. It's, it's the, the politicians on the right and the left who are more kind of the globalist types, who they, they, they love all these international trade deals, regardless of their effect on the workers. They love the idea of amnesty or massive amounts of guest workers coming into the country. So globalism and their quest for diversity trumps safety, security, uh, workers' rights in the United States, and I find that also to be troubling. Well, most other countries in the world have already moved to protect their national borders, their national security, and to provide for the economic growth, and they do that within the immigration system. Canada and Australia decades ago... How about Japan? To, How about New Zealand? Japan, Try to get New Zealand. into New Zealand today, exactly. Japan. But they went to a merit-based system where they bring the right kind of people in today relative to the economy, and we don't. We have a a, um, a family-based uh, uh, chain migration system that's got to end. The Explain that. So if we, a lot of our, our viewers tonight, they hear chain migration, like, what the heck are you talking so about? So you're going to bring in your old grandmother who's dying of cancer from, you know, Mexico. You heartless, horrible senator from yeah. Georgia, you yeah. don't care about the poor Mexican grandmother dying of cancer. That's what they always say. They go right to your heartless and cruel. Well, today we bring in 1.1 million green card recipients a year. Uh, that's about twice our historical average, but that's not the real problem. The real problem is about 70,000 come in that are skill-based. Another 70,000 are immediate family. The rest are chain. That means that a, a recipient can name their grandmother, their cousin, their uncle, or whatever, and then that recipient can name their grandmother and uncle and cousin. And so it goes on and on and on. And so after decades of doing this, we have now an immigration system that does not fit the economic needs. And as we saw in this loophole, it does not protect our national security. And what does it do for its assimilation, which is another issue, I think, that, again, people are afraid to talk about this because they're, they're called, you know, all these names or they're nativists, as John McCain said. When you talk about, like, are you, are you assimilating or are you creating many Pakistans or many Irans or many Somalias in the United States, where we see this in St. Paul and Minnesota, and we see this in Michigan and Dearborn and in Hamtramck. You see, you see this in different parts of, uh, you know, boroughs in New York. And again, most of the people are fine people and they work hard. But it, it kind of, the melting pot seems to just be melting, you know, melting down. It doesn't seem to be a melting pot in some of these areas. Not all, but some of them. But this is the biggest difference since 1990 in the Ted Kennedy idea. And that is that uh, if you look at our historical immigration, they did that. They came in, they assimilated in the communities, they learned English, they developed a skill, and they com contributed to the economy. What we have going today is this politically correct, we want an open border. I mean, that's fundamentally what the progressives want is an open well, border. They don't want any border. They, no. don't, want any, they don't want any de de deportation, really, except maybe murderers. But other than that, they want no de de deportation. They want everyone can come and go, and it's more of a global order. That's what they've always wanted. Well, and what we're trying to do is add some reason. By the way, what we want to do in a merit-based system and eliminate chain migration is the same conclusion the Democrats came to under Bill Clinton. Uh, President Bush commissioned, George H.W. Uh, commissioned a commission to look at I'm immigration. sick of commissions, personally. But I'm they, sick of these commissions. Every they, time I turn around, there's another commission. They never get anything done. But here's what the Democrats did. They suggested a merit-based system. 
and Clinton uh, acknowledged that and supported that. So this is this should be a bipartisan approach to this thing. Uh, How many people, what's the percentage of immigrants in the United States today who've come in under a chain migration? I read somewhere it was ridiculously well, high. It's like we, thir 13 million over the last 25 years. I'll or? give you the number every year. It's 1.1 million and only 140 is the, the worker and the immediate family. You do the math on that. That's over, over 900, 900,000 people a year are coming in uh, in the chain migration uh, oh iteration. <laughs> it's a geometric progression. It really is. So Once it's you, exponential. It keeps absolutely. going. Absolutely. Uh, are you confident that the Democrats will uh, limit chain migration? Otherwise, they're going to kill the DREAM Act. They don't limit chain migration. They're going to kill the DREAM Act. Will they do it? Well, we'll see. I mean, this is where the, the self-interest on the other side, we're going to test that against what's yeah. good for the country. Senator, thank you so thank much you, for coming. Laura. It's great to see you.